Mantle is, in a nutshell, AMD's initiative to create a new programming model to fully exploit the capabilities of modern GPUs to improve graphics performance. The idea is to give developers the ability to have their game engines interact directly with the hardware to reduce unnecessary overhead that is introduced by other APIs. Most developers who are embracing Mantle seem to be particularly fed up with the shortcomings and lack of innovation from Microsoft with respect to DirectX. Okay, so it's better, but there are a lot of questions that remain. I mean, is this just plug and play? What games does it work with? Well, right now, Mantle is supported only on Windows platforms and only in games that are specifically coded to take advantage of it, including Battlefield 4 and Star Citizen. There is no Linux or SteamOS support for now, and while there were rumors early on that the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 would support it, that was a misunderstanding. Mantle allows PC developers to improve performance by letting them better control the graphics hardware and by allowing them to use techniques that were previously limited to console games development on the PC. That should, in theory, facilitate porting games from a console to a Mantle-enabled PC, but that doesn't mean that Microsoft and Sony's latest consoles support Mantle or really anything that closely related to it. Okay, so how do you use it? Well, I mean, have you ever had a game that supports both DirectX and OpenGL rendering paths? It'll have a drop-down menu allowing you to choose the render path you want. Mantle aims to be that simple. Select which API you want to use, fire up your game, and enjoy the performance advantage. All right, sounds great, but hold on. I've got a Mantle-supported game, and the drop-down isn't there. Well, every aspect of your system needs to support Mantle. You will need a Mantle-compatible video card and Mantle-compatible driver to go along with your Mantle-compatible game. All right, so I need an AMD graphics card? For now, yes. But AMD says it's designed Mantle in such a way that makes it applicable to a range of modern GPU architectures. So while it is a proprietary technology right now, AMD says they're planning to release Mantle as an open specification sometime in 2014. So stay tuned on that one. All right, so why did AMD do all this work on their own rather than improve what was already there? And that is a great question and one that I'm actually just gonna leave it to AMD to answer. From their FAQ, the design of Mantle was driven by feedback from leading game developers who preferred the idea of a fresh start with a new API to the extension and patching of existing ones. Okay, but what does that mean for DirectX and OpenGL? In reality, for now, nothing. Mantle is in its infancy, and the industry could still kind of tinker with it for a while and then leave it abandoned in a corner. But if instead the industry adopts it wholeheartedly or even just borrows certain aspects of it and applies them to improving DirectX and OpenGL, AMD figures they can call the project a success. So, all right, which leads us to the meat of it. You sat through the video. How much of a performance improvement is there with Mantle? And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but unfortunately, there's just too wide a range to give you a straight up single answer. Different PC configurations will behave in different ways, but the general rule is that Mantle will have the biggest impact in CPU limited scenarios, particularly because of how much more efficiently it allows a game engine to utilize a multi-core processor. Speaking of multi-core processors, Hotspot Shield. Whether you need to make yourself a bit more difficult to track on your multi-core desktop PC, or whether you need to leverage the mobile data saving services that are available on iOS devices when you're on the go, Hotspot Shield is the fast, simple way to improve your security online. That was a terrible segue, but my point still stands, and there's great news. You can get a free trial of their elite service at any time, and if you use offer code Linus, you can save 20% when it's time to take the plunge. So check out the link in the video description to give it a shot. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment under the video and let me know your thoughts on Mantle. I mean, by the time you're watching this video, it could be a, a year later and the landscape could have completely changed, so I'd love to keep the discussion up to date. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to TechQuickie for more fast as possible videos just like this one.